So, um, the first thing you want to actually do is uninstall Flash Payo. So the best way to do it is to get the uninstall utility from Adobe. Um, and the reason you need to do this is because it won't let you install an older version if a newer version is already installed. So, I'm just going to save that and open uninstall Flash Payo. And uninstall. And done. Okay. So, um, just ignore this message. So next you want to go to the link in the description and you'll find a link to a zip file which is archived by the Wayback Machine of um, the first, the Ace version of Flash that does not kill switch. And you want to, if you're using Firefox, you want to use this one. If you're using Internet Explorer, you want to use this one. And if you want Chrome, um, there's a bit of extra steps required, but this is generally the one you want to use. So, um, I'm going to be showing you first how to do it on Firefox, and then I'll do it on Chrome. So, for, um, for Firefox, I'm just going to run this one. Okay, I'm going to click accept, install. Mm -hmm. And you want to just check to never check for updates. Okay, so now we run Firefox. Let's go to a site that uses Flash, such as um, Tama Town Rewritten, as an example. Now you'll get this message if it should be updated. You can just click it anyway and click Real. And it should start running. So for Chrome, it's a bit more complicated. You need to open up the pep, win pep version, um, install. Never check for updates. But if you actually tried to use um, Flash on Chrome right now, it wouldn't work. What you have to do next is go to your C drive, Windows, System32, Macromed, Flash. You see this, you'll find this pep flash PO64 underscore 32. Alright, and you'll go to percent, your cool app data percent. Go to Google, Chrome, user data. Pepper Flash here, paste this in, I'll, re I'll get the name of this one, I want to delete it, and now paste that in, okay, and now let's open Chrome, and go to a site that requires Flash, go to the same one, and Site settings, flash a yow, and there we go. And this should work for as long as browsers support MP API or PP API.